Hey everyone, it's Rocky, and we've got another little baby haul video today. Um, I'm in a different room because I moved, um, but I'm going to be showing off the diapers that I got. So I got a bunch of cloth diapers from this one brand, well, this one company in Quebec, which is called the Pizzios, which is just the little bear. Um, and they do amazing cloth diapers with bamboo inserts. They do um, pocket diapers. They do have pre-folds and then they also do um, all-in-ones. So I have the pocket diapers and the all-in-ones and I'll be showing you both of those. And they do also have their two main sizes. So they've got the little petite ones that are seven to 15 pounds. And then they have the larger size, which is 10 to 35 pounds. Um, so I've only got three of the smaller ones because uh, babies grow out of them really fast as it stands. I mean, so obviously um, I'm, uh, I guess this might not be obvious, but I, I'm recording this well after my daughter has been born. Um, she's right next to me, but I won't be putting her on camera. That's a, that's a choice. Um, but yeah, so she's already 11 weeks old and she's already almost uh, grown out of the little diapers because she's 12 pounds as it is. So she's only got three more pounds to go. So within about three weeks or so, she should be completely out of them. But honestly, they're getting a little tight. So we're probably gonna cut them out a little bit sooner. But I'm gonna show you because they've got a ton of different patterns. I'm gonna put a link to um, their website down below. And I, yeah, if you're looking for cloth diapers, definitely a good way to go. So we're gonna start off. I'm gonna show you all of the different um, patterns that they have because there's, there's a ton here. I've got, a about 30 diapers. I'm not gonna be able to show you all of them today because some of them are in the wash and she's using one right now. So I'm just gonna show you the ones that I do have. So this is the first one. This is what they look like. So you can see all these different snaps. So you can change the sizes and then you can also tighten them up this way to make them a little bit smaller to fit your smaller baby. And as they grow, you can uh, loosen up the snaps until it becomes a full diaper and you're using it on this size. This is the tiny one. Um, so right now she is using it just as it is without having to use any of the snaps. Um, so this one here. Yeah, so this is the all-in-one diaper. So this one has the little insert that's on the outside here and it unsnaps. So that way if the baby pees on this and this part gets wet then you can unsnap this and then you've just got this to use. Inside there is a built-in liner and it is just like a pocket like that where you can put it inside out if you want to for washing. You honestly don't have to with these ones. You can just leave them as they are and put them into the wash and you're good to go. Obviously you should be removing this from the snaps and you should, un if you do have to snap up the diapers, you should unsnap them before putting them in the wash. But I'm gonna show you, so this is the name, just so you can see it there, that can see us. And then this is what ooh, the pattern is. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a, like a universe pattern. So you can see like there's little planets and stars and stuff and moons. It's very cute. All right, and then this one is another all-in-one. But this one here is storks that are cute, with like a little polka dots. And the last one that I have for the little newborn or baby diapers is this one here, which is orange. It's like one of those really pretty sunset oranges. And then it's just got like a leaf pattern on it. It's very pretty. Um, yeah, so they're very cute. When she was born, she didn't actually fit into these tiny little diapers. Um, she had to use disposables because she was under seven pounds. She's very small for her age, considering she was a week late. So, you know, but now I'm gonna show you the full size diapers and I'm gonna show you the size difference. So baby diaper, full size diaper, and then you can see there's quite a big difference in the size, but this one's cute. So this one here is one of the pocket diapers, but I'm gonna show you the pattern first. It's got little chickens on it. They're cute. And then, okay. So this is the pocket diaper here. 
So as you can see, there is a pocket and there's an insert on the inside. They do come out, uh, so that way you can wash them separately. And then you just re-put one of them in here. And then it also comes with an extra liner. Uh, so that way you can put one on top. So that way it kind of works in the same way as these ones do, except it's just removable. And then that way you don't have to have it on there if you don't want to, it doesn't have the snaps inside. Um, obviously the one with the snaps holds in place a little bit better, but honestly, I don't really find that it matters very much. And then you just put it into the laundry bag and when you go to wash it, you can leave it with the insert on the inside so you don't have to pull it out and get your hands all gross because it literally will just come right out the side in the wash, which is really nice. Um, next pattern, we got a little winter pattern. So this one here is what it looks like. It's got a little snowman, little snow critters, winter critters, there's like reindeer and stuff, and then you've got like trees. And it's in like a peachy color. And then we got koalas, because koalas are cute, and also Fuzz is Australian. Not that he sounds Australian, but he is. So we were like, you know what, well, let's get something for his heritage. So we got koalas. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have kangaroos, so. Uh, and then we got palm trees here in like another like light peachy color. We got a lot of peach ones. A lot of peach and a lot of like greenish colored ones. This one's just a plain one. So we got a couple that didn't have patterns on it just so that way it fits more if we're putting her in like a really patterned dress. Um, then she can just have something a little plain underneath. One thing that I will say with this though, is the fact that it is white on the inside, they do stain pretty easily, which is the unfortunate. Um, and it can stain on the inside and outside. So if you are putting them into the laundry bag, honestly, I recommend that you get yourself like a diaper liner. It's kind of the same as like a panty liner. It's just this thin, liner that goes on the inside of the diaper over top of the rest of it and then that way if your baby poops you can just grab the liner with all of the poop in it and toss it out like that and it saves the majority of your diaper which is nice all you'll get there they're not leak proof so like you're still gonna get some like yellow going through it and yes baby poop is usually yellow uh, so i've noticed but um it'll it'll put yellow um, onto the white, but it comes out a lot easier than if you just have like your poo clumps staining it. Um, and then if you get any on the outside of that, I highly recommend to rinse it off, let it air dry, and then put it into your diaper bag. Um, alternatively, you can also use like Clorox or OxyClean. OxyClean, that's the one I meant. OxyClean. And that helps. Like we do have some stained ones par for the course but we saved more with the oxyclean and with the diaper liners so highly recommend doing that next one is these llamas i think they're llamas they might be alpacas i'm not sure about the difference if you know uh if these are llamas or alpacas just let me know i'm pretty sure they're the llamas though and then we've got some stars just nice little gold stars. Nice and easy, pretty basic. And then we've got these little chameleons that are super cute. They're like sticking their tongues up, tasting the world. And then I got this gray one with little polar bear outlines on it, which is really cute. I quite like that one. All right, and then we've got some food ones too. So we got um, sushi, because of course, how could we not get a sushi one? I love sushi. This one is arguably one of my absolute favorite ones. I've got two in here that I really love. So there's this one, which is really cute breakfast foods. You got bacon, eggs, strawberries, waffles, croissants, like the whole nine yards. It's really cute. I love that one. Um, this one is another Australia diaper. So this one's got like the platypus, there's kangaroos, there's kiwis. Well, that's, I don't know, what the heck is that? Oh, like a flying squirrel? I don't know, they got a bunch of, 
They had a bunch of stuff. Anyway, it's all wildlife, but like more Australian wildlife. So we thought that one was fun. And we got this one. I honestly really like the colors on this one. It's flamingos. I'm not really a big fan of flamingos, but I really loved all of the colors that they used. It was like these really gorgeous pastels. And I am a bit of a fan of that one. And then we've got this one here that's like a really dark foresty green with acorns on it. And then we got this one that's gray with the boxes. And our diaper bag is also the same pattern as this one here. So it was fun to get a matching one. Um, the diaper bag is really cool. Uh, I'm not, I didn't bring it in here just because it is currently in use with dirty diapers. So, um, but basically it's just this large bag and then it's got like these two loops up at the top so that way you can hang it. Um, it's open, it doesn't completely close up at the top so that way it can air out so that way everything that's in there can dry because you're supposed to just directly take the soiled diaper and put it into this bag. Uh, there is a pocket on the inside so that way you can put like a little, one of those little like a absorbent essential oil pad things in there. It doesn't come with one, but um, you can put one in there so that way it doesn't make your the room reek. And then underneath is a zipper at the bottom. So basically what you do is you take the full bag when it's done and it can hold up to 20 dirty diapers. And then you pop it into the washing machine, you unzip the bottom of the bag, and then that's it. You put it with the, the laundry and you're good to go. Uh, and then all of the diapers will come out of it and it cleans everything. And obviously the bag is also machine washable, which is really fantastic. So you've got like that whole thing and it's just really, really easy to just toss and go. Obviously, if you put one of those essential oil pads in there to make it smell better, remove that. You don't want to put that into the wash um, unless you get one that is washable. I don't know if they are. I've never really used one before, but uh, yeah, it's just an option. All right, next. This was one of Fuzz's picks because, well, as you guys know, he really loves his dinosaurs. Um, so we've got a bunch of dinosaurs on here. There's pterodactyls, there's uh, brontosaurus. I don't know what else is on here. The, I, I don't remember what, what this one is called. Heat no, but I can't remember. There's a bunch on there, so that's nice. He does love him, some dinosaurs. Uh, next we've got one that's got little bees on it. We both really like bees, but we got like bees, honeycombs, hives. It's really cute. I also really like the color of green, like that shade of green that's on here is really nice. Definitely one of the nicer shades of green. Uh, then we've got this one here with constellations on it. It's really, really cute. I do love me space and stars and constellations and stuff so that one was a must when I saw it. Uh, we got another plain one so this one's just like a nice pink color. And then we've got this music one with a bunch of different instruments on it. There is a trumpet so I was very happy to see that because I do love me the trumpet. It is my instrument of choice. And last but not least is my other absolute favorite one, the lobster diaper. <laughs> look at how cute they are. Look, look at this happy little guy. Look at him. He's just like, yeah, I have a party. I love it. It's very cute. But yeah, I really, I really liked all of the different designs on here. They are affordable as well, which is really nice. They're about $14 per diaper. Um, so in the end, I bought... The majority of the diapers myself, I bought 20 diapers and that cost me about $300. I know it sounds very expensive, but this compared to all of the disposables that you buy and how many you have to go through in the end, it's cheaper to go this way than it is to go with the disposables. It's also better for the environment to use cloth diapers. Um, and I mean, the only thing that really sucks with them is that they do get stained over time um, and you do have to wash them and do several loads but if you have enough diapers then you're only gonna have to wash them every like two maybe three days depending on how your baby's doing <laughs> but um, yeah I, I really like the cloth diapers we still use disposables um, we just more use them at night so that way for now, 
just because she's sleeping in our room and all of her stuff is in our room right now. But once we have a space where it's just like her room, um, then we're going to be going cloth diapers at night as well. Um, and then we use disposables when we're out and about just because it's easier to toss a diaper than it is to, you know, grab a Ziploc bag and shove it into the bag and then have it to carry around dirty diapers with you, especially if you're out for like several hours at a time. Um, it just, it just doesn't work as easily, I find. So we buy ourselves like a small box of diapers so it'll fit her for a while and then that way we can just use them as needed. It's also easier if we have somebody babysitting um, then they don't have to wonder how to do all the cloth diaper stuff so they can just toss the diaper and go. But yeah, so that is my little cloth diaper collection. I really quite like them and um, yeah think that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.